breaking Trump's motorcade just came to urgent stop by Cat Stevens for FreedomDaily.com. President Trump uh, tends to get heat from the left no matter what he does. If he's working, he's doing something they don't like. And if he's celebrating, he's probably offending someone who doesn't like the holiday. However, for the haters, though, he's in office, and no matter how hard they try, it doesn't look like they'll be able to do anything about it. The president seems to get an especially large amount of grief for visiting his own home in Florida when uh, time permits. His visit to his own estate in at Mar-a-Lago should serve as a reminder that the president isn't taking any money out of America's pocket. He's self-sufficient and only working in his current position to serve Americans. That seems to be exactly what Florida supporters were thinking of when they rallied on the streets in anticipation of the president's arrival. The streets where the president was traveling was flanked by loving supporters who wanted to let the president know that despite his many enemies, he has many supporters as well. Their gesture didn't go unnoticed either. The supporters were out in mass, holding signs, supporting the president, pet projects, whipping up support for him when the president himself saw them. When they expected, uh, what they expected would just end up being a wave and, ha and a nod to show acknowledgement of their moral support ended up being a lot more. After the president uh, made it to his winter White House and before he started celebrating, the Palm Beach Post reported that about 20 minutes after the motorca motorcade passed, two white vans returned and a man emerged with an invitation for the supporters to meet the president. Oh, that's great. About 20 minutes after President Trump's motorcade passed over the Southern Bridge on its way back to Mar-a-Lago after golf on Saturday, a white van stopped near a group of supporters. A man stepped out with an invitation that stunned the devoted sign-waving crowd. The president would like to meet with you at Mar-a-Lago. It stunned me, said Mike Sims of West Palm Beach. I didn't know what to think. Sixteen supporters piled into two white vans for a short drive across the bridge to the president's private club. No one expected the 90-minute visit to the uh, president's winter White House. I was wearing baggy pants, uh, bemoaned one supporter at the sudden invite and the photo she had taken with Trump. The group went through the usual security sweep by the Secret Service and they met with the president who was still in, the golf, in his golf clothes and shoes. He shook hands with the group near the pool and posed with each four photos. A White House photographer also shot pictures. The president gave a short history of Mar-a-Lago built in the 1920s by serial heiress, uh, heiress uh, Marjorie Merriweather Post and gave each a magazine about the estate. Trump brought, uh, bought the uh, di uh, dilapidated estate in 1985 and restored it. In 1995, he opened Mar-a-Lago as a private club, which now has been about, has about 500 members. Today, Mar-a-Lago has a spa, tennis courts, two pools, putting, uh, putting greens, uh, several dining areas and bedrooms that are available only to members and their guests. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? to take such time out. What a, what a beautiful human being. After, after the meet and greet and photo op, Trump asked his aides to show the group into his living room to see the Christmas tree and outside to view the helicopter. They were then invited into the ballroom for snacks, meatballs, watermelon, pigs in a blanket, spring rolls, thick chocolate chip cookies, iced tea, and water. Sims especially liked the water. It was a regular water bottle, a bottle except it didn't say uh, Zeph Zephyrilis. It said Trump. Oh, <laughs> said Sims, who uh, grabbed one as a souvenir. It 
uh, was just a fabulous experience. I will never forget it. I'm sure he won't. That is beautiful. Saturday's uh, impromptu visit was not the first. On March 18th, seven Trump supporters who cheered the president as his motorcade passed were also invited to the estate. A day later, on his way out of town, the president stopped his motorcade and got out of his armored SUV to swiftly greet supporters. Donald Tarka Jr. of Boynton Beach said the group was invited not because we are famous or big donors, but because we are members of a group called the Trump Squad, a group of supporters who faithfully gather at the west end of the Southern Boulevard Bridge to greet the president. Our motto is, see you at the bridge. Tarka was uh, at the bridge again on Sunday afternoon, waiting with the rest of the squad for the president to return from his golf club in West Palm Beach. It was such an honor, a day to all us deplorables we will never forget, Tarka said. We the people do matter. Many people considered President Trump's predecessor to be unqualified for the office of president because his citizenship was doubtful. <laughs> Uh, however, what we should have been worried about, uh, the qualifications of loving America, Obama made it clear time and again that he had disdain for American values and the people that held him. President Trump couldn't be any more different and he demonstrates it at times like this. Americans once again have a president that they are uh, can be proud of because he is proud of us and that's how it should be isn't that amazing I mean really and such great uh, so great you know I mean could you imagine uh, being invited and meeting and greeting I thought that was uh, just so amazing on his part and you uh, you did not get this kind of treatment from Obama Bro Obama forget about it uh, dis disgusting. That's all I say about Obama. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.